Don't let that dog near my child. I know, man. Put that dog on a lead. I know. Oh my God. Those types of dogs are vicious and should be killed. Wait. Wait. Does it bite? What, the dog or me? Oh, it, first off, has a name. Well, Brindle doesn't bite. And he's called Lionel, and he is named after Lionel Richie. Of course it bites, it's an animal. Everything bites, it's got a jaw, it's got teeth in it. Any dog can bite, it's not just this breed. Yes, I've worked with dogs that have bitten. It's about not putting the dog in a situation whereby it could be dangerous. Don't get me wrong, the, the, the attacks are horrific. If it's been taught to bite, then that's the owner's fault. It's not about a specific breed thing, you know? If you push my parrot too far, he'll nab your finger. <laughs> Maybe he'll like it, dear. Keep that animal away from my dog. Well, keep that animal away from my dog. I get that all the time. All the time. People will put their dogs on the lead when they see you coming. People walk away from us. People s scream that we shouldn't own a dog like that. Yeah. I've got loads of other dogs, but they always want to stroke them, never him. You'll just be walking through with your staffy and you'll see the crowd part. You know, when I go to maybe try and socialise my dog with another dog, they're like, oh, oh, no, no. Looks at them like the absolute dirt and their owners are absolute dirt <laughs> because we own what is perceived as a dangerous dog and a dog for the lower classes. I can understand why people find them scary, but people find me scary with dreadlocks. <laughs> so. Those dogs were bred to kill. They were bred to cuddle. <laughs> it just saddens me, to be fair, when people say that. I think the reputation that they've managed to get themselves is really quite unfair. Why don't they think that about the hunting dogs, beagles, you know, foxhounds, harriers. No, they're companion dogs, you know. Look at them, I mean, sup his arseholes. He's soft, loves his treats, loves his ball, loves other dogs. If somebody tried to mug me on the street, Lionel would go, hi, how are you doing? And wiggle his bum. He's scared of cats, so. <laughs> it's the only thing Layla would kill you with his kisses, to be honest. <laughs> I got proper kiss, that of me and the air. Oh, God, yeah, I've had this one. Don't let that near my child. Ah, I hear that a lot when I'm walking in the park. Stop! Don't let that snotty little rug rat near my dog. So I was at a fair and I looked down and there was a one and a half year old child that had left its parents lifting his thumbs up. We're supposed to be a country of animal lovers and we don't teach people uh, how to interact correctly with them. Kids and animals should always be supervised. Just because he's a bull breed doesn't mean he's more predisposed towards biting. Shouldn't it be wearing a muzzle? I've been asked that loads of times. No, it should not. Yeah, but it is already. Yeah, but he shouldn't. The Dangerous Dogs Act has created an absolute monster. And now he looks dangerous to people. I walk down the street, people are crossing the road. They're being muzzled in public simply because of the way they look. He has to live the rest of his life as a prisoner because he's deemed wrong. He, his measurements are wrong. But yet, at the same time, they take the dog away, do all these assessments. He's passed all these temperament tests He's proved he is no danger to the public, yet my dog has to look like Hannibal Lecter. What type of person wants a dog like that? An amazing person. If you truly know the breed, I think it's, it's a sensible person. The stereotypical type of person that would own a staffy is probably someone that people think wants to be hard. People with tattoos, uh, hoodies, skinheads. They're hanging around on street corners with big, great big chain leads. That's what they pick out to, to show everyone on the news. It's going to be the gangs of lads with staffs, with staff crosses. Public schoolboy here owns what would be classed as a chav dog. <laughs> Isn't it hard work? <laughs> it's not hard work. Having dogs is an absolute pleasure. <laughs> it's the best thing in the world. It is extremely rewarding. See it? <laughs> Wait. I think the hardest bit of it is um, getting like preconceived judgment against you from having ones. Wanna pray? Wait. <laughs> we'll pray. There we go. See, that's smart as well. They're the only animal that will love you more than it loves itself. Life would be horrible without them. It'd be so boring. Yeah, I mean, what would we do? What would we do? <laughs> Seriously, what would I we do? I don't think we'd be together. No. Brenda, <laughs> Wait. Oh, oh do I sit? Good boy. She just she just really You're dangerous. Where's your tattoo? I've got one too, mate. Hey.